Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am really excited to share with you my journey of pursuing Masters in Data Analytics at the University of Strathclyde as an international student coming from India. In this video, I will also be talking about my experience staying in the University Hall, that is the Andrew Yu Hall, which is the least expensive option that you can avail from the University of Strathclyde. Even though I had very limited options, but I had to make sure that I am going to a good university. So for that, I conducted some research to ensure that the University of Strathclyde is reputable and provides quality education. So the very first thing I did was I started checking the university ranking on the QS ranking website, which is based on various parameters like academic reputation, employer reputation, faculty student ratio, employment outcomes, research standards, and based on all this, it gives an overall score. But because the website uses such wide parameters, so it might be better to check how the course that you want to do is doing within the uni. As in my case, Strathclyde Business School had a really good reputation as compared to the university as a whole. So the second most important thing is to ensure that the university or the specific program that you are looking into is accredited by the relevant accrediting bodies. Accreditation ensures that the institution meets certain academic standards and in terms of that, SBS has triple accreditation such as AACSP, EQUIS and AMBA. So you might want to check your department specific accreditations as well. The next really important thing to look for within the university is to inquire about its alumni network. A strong alumni network can offer valuable connections, mentorship opportunities and also career advice. The University of Strathclyde does host networking events regularly where you can meet with people from your domain and other universities as well. The career services also offers Strathclyde Connect where you can register and connect with the alumni and also attend events like these. So I would strongly recommend using Strathclyde Connect along with LinkedIn so that you can make a strong network which might be crucial for landing that first job in the UK. So this one's my favorite and the most important thing to look for in a university is its career services. So career services is a department that provides support to the students for their career development and also for job search. University of Strathclyde has a dedicated career services office in the very beautiful LNT, which is the learning and teaching building where you will spend your most time during your university days. You can also reach out to them for any queries and you get a My Career Hub as well, which is an online portal where you get all the information about the latest events and you can also book your appointments with the careers team for your CV checks or other facilities through that. Then you have your Career360 as well, which is the perfect tool to see how compliant is your resume with the ATS and will also give you a detailed feedback of things you can improve, which is by far the best tool, much, much better than the job scan or any other tools on the market. So a quick bonus tip, try to stay in contact with the careers team as much as you can and make the most of their services like their CV checks and interview preps as they can definitely help you stand out among other candidates who do not use these services. It's really nice that the university provides these services because I myself got benefited from the mock interview session that I attended as it gives you a good knowledge of how you should prepare for your interview and also prepares what the interviewer might ask during those interviews. The next thing you should look into the university is to investigate whether the university has partnerships or collaborations within the industry that you want to work in. These could be corporations, government agencies or non-profit organizations as well. And these partnerships can lead to networking opportunities such as guest lectures, industry sponsored projects and internship opportunities as well. The University of Strathclyde being a top university in the Scotland had its advantages and they had strong connections with big companies such as Scottish Power, EY, Experian, Diageo, Deloitte, just to name a few. Now let's talk about the most important thing that you should look for while choosing a university and why I chose Strathclyde was the course curriculum. As in University of Strathclyde, there were a couple of courses I was interested in. One was the business analytics and consulting and the other one was data analytics. So this caught me thinking because I did not want to do something too technical. The BAC, which is business analytics and consulting is much more focused on consulting sides of thing. 
even though it has some optional modules where you can dabble with R and Python, whereas data analytics is much more into technical data analyst kind of roles and has core modules like R, Python and optional modules like machine learning, SQL, etc. So I would definitely suggest you to ask for a course handbook as it has all the detailed information about the course you want to do and it will help you decide in a better way. My overall experience with the data analytics program at University of Strathclyde was really nice as the course structure is quite rigorous but it provides you with all the relevant skills and knowledge that you might need to succeed in the field of data analytics. So one particular module that stands out the most in this is the data analytics in practice module. So here you work in different groups on four projects out of which three of them are given to you by partner companies like EY, Scottish Power and Experian. This model stands out as it gives you a real world experience of working for a client and tackling problems while working in a diverse group. So everything you learn in other modules, this will give you an opportunity to apply. Outside of the classroom, I had the opportunity to participate in various extracurricular activities as there are a lot of clubs and societies in the university that you might like. Though being a master's student, you do not get that much time to participate in all these activities but yeah it's really good to enroll in some and then participate every now and then whenever you get the time also the university gym that is strat sport is oh my god a heaven if you are a gym regular it is a state of the art 31 million pound gym and i think it's the best one in the whole glasgow and if you live in the university accommodation then you get free membership for the whole year which was really the best thing you can have now let's talk about the application process which i found really straightforward and quite smooth but it's not the fastest as i got a reply from every other university within two to four weeks be it acceptance or rejection but Strathclyde took their own sweet time i applied in december and got my results in march and the same thing happened with the accommodation as well so you have to be patient and you'll get through it but it will take some time i applied for my accommodation in the month of march as soon as i got my acceptance letter and i was seeing all these budget student accommodation in glasgow getting sold out and still did not receive anything from my university hall application. Finally, I got an email from them in July, but the very big problem was that the reviews about the hall were not quite assuring. Also, there was nothing on the internet to really know how the university halls really look like. So I took a leap of faith, not the most amazing sort of place to live, but it was not bad either. The halls were pretty good, well-maintained rooms, a big hall and a kitchen with ample space and everything available. The best part was that Aldi was right next to the hall and it was very centrally located. And the only drawback was the floors were really creaky, which after staying in UK, you realize like most of the houses had this problem. So if you are a light sleeper, then it might affect you. Otherwise, it was a really sweet deal for just 110 per week and that too including everything. So this was my experience as an international student studying in the University of Strathclyde. And to be honest, I did not have really high expectations of the university due to the high intake numbers. But I must say they are really doing their bit. And all in all, it was a really good experience of the university the course and also living in Glasgow. If you're also looking to apply for a course in the university, I think you do not have anything to worry about. Just make sure that the course module aligns with your interests. Rest the university is really a good investment. If you are also a Stratlite student, so do share your experience and thoughts about the university in the comment section below. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me on Instagram. And if you liked the video and found it useful, then do hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel.